Proverbs, the Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel. For attaining wisdom and discipline, for understanding words of insight, for acquiring a disciplined and prudent life, doing what is right and just and fair. For giving prudence to the simple, knowledge and discretion to the young, let the wise listen and add their learning, and let the discerning get guidance. For understanding proverbs and parables, the sayings and riddles of the wise. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline. And the second reading is from Matthew. The wise and foolish builders. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the wind blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching, because he taught as one who had authority, and not as their teachers of the law. Thanks be to God. Shall we pray? Lord, we thank you that you are a wise God with wisdom beyond our own. Thank you for your word, which brings light when we cannot always see the way ahead. So as we listen and think this morning about your words of wisdom, we'd help us understand what is important to you, how well we're perhaps doing in our Christian lives or perhaps where we need improvement to follow you more closely. So we pray for your wisdom this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. I'd like to begin by asking if you could tell me the meaning of these uh, proverbs or wise sayings. Not proverbs from the Bible, but ones I've picked up from a few different places. I'd just like you to take each one as it comes and uh, think about uh, what it perhaps means. And then you can tell me if you think you, you perhaps know. So here we go. Water can both sustain and sink a ship. Water can both sustain and sink a ship. Anybody like to tell me what that means? Or may possibly mean. Yes, so, so water can do something good, but equally it can be quite a dangerous thing, water as well. I think it's something, something along those lines. Another one for you. Count not what is lost, but what is left. Count not what is uh, lost, but what is left. So what's that mean? Thank you very much. Yeah, I think that's the gist of it. Here we are. Uh, to extend your life by a year takes one less bite each meal. Okay? <laughs> to extend your life by a year takes one less bite each meal. It's fairly obvious, that one. <laughs> I didn't make it up. I got it off the internet. <laughs> it must be true. Eat healthily, yes. Fairly obvious, that one. Another one. Even the tallest towers started from the ground. Even the tallest... Yeah, you can start small and then kind of build up. Um, if one eats less, one will taste more. If one eats less, one will taste more. Quality that counts, perhaps, not just quantity. Okay, you enjoying these? They're good, aren't they? Learning is like the horizon, there is no limit. Learning is like the horizon, there is no limit. Exactly, yeah. I like this next one. Do not wait until you're thirsty to dig a well. Do not waste... Do not wait. <laughs> Preparation, basically, yes. Particularly for important things. Often it's our own fault when we get to the problem. Failure is the mother of success. Failure, obviously. Learning from your mistakes, okay? The road to success is always under construction. Take me as an example. The road to success is always under construction. We're all, we're all work in progress, thank you. Everyone wants to go to heaven, but no one wants to die. To save your life, sometimes you need to lose your life, yeah? I like this next one. Remember, half the people in the world are below average. <laughs> Remember, half the people in the world are below average. So taller and faster is not always better. 
Uh, last one. Ham and eggs. A day's work for a chicken, a lifetime commitment for a pig. <laughs> there we go. Plenty more where those came from. If you'd like some more, maybe later. So do you agree there are some really good sayings and proverbs in the world, aren't there? And it's worth uh, subscribing to an app on your phone or you know, getting a book. You know, a little wise saying every day can be really helpful because they're kind of spiritual and practical at the same time. But there's nothing, I don't think, that can beat Proverbs in the Old Testament, compiled by King Solomon, probably in his old age. And um, there are 31 chapters with over a 1,000 Proverbs. So that's three a day you could look at and put into practice. And there are Proverbs about uh, how to be wise and not foolish, how to speak well and not badly, how to act and live well, how to handle wealth, how to look after children and the family, and particular wisdom for men and women as well. Because sometimes we have particular issues as men and women, and there's some really good advice from those perspectives as well. And uh, shall I share the joke Tom Johns gave to me a while ago? You like this? So um, Tom Johns gave this to me um, about the book of Proverbs. King David and King Solomon led merry, merry lives with many, many lady friends and many, many wives. But when old age crept over them with many, many qualms, King Solomon wrote the Proverbs and King David wrote the Psalms. <laughs> so if you want to kind of avoid getting into difficulties, um, then Proverbs are worth kind of just keeping in mind on how to live wisely day by day. And as you probably know, just for information, the Proverbs are part of the wisdom writings in the Old Testament. What are the other wisdom books? Who can tell me? Ecclesiastes, that's one of them. The Psalms. Yes, yeah, Song of Songs. And Job. There's, so they're all part of kind of wisdom books in the Old Testament. And they're well worth reading. Now, what I'd like you to do, um, if any of you have been to Moray's Wednesday evening prayer and meditation uh, evenings, it's quite nice sometimes just to um, have a thought and let it kind of sink in. Because sometimes we're, we're full of thoughts, at least I am, and so the, there's more quantity than quality, if I could put it like that. Um, so what I'd like you to do is kind of just relax. Um, you may want to keep the Bible on your lap, whatever's easiest. Close your eyes or keep them open. Um, I'm going to read a few Proverbs. I'm going to read them twice. And what I'd like you to do is to kind of let them sink in. Okay? Think about what they mean, perhaps, how they might apply to you or a situation, uh, some might resonate, others may not, um, but let them kind of just be thoughtful. And I'm going to leave a pause between each one. I'll read each twice and uh, just let them speak to you neat, as it were. Okay? Let's see what they say to you. Proverbs 10, verse 19. When words are many... Sin is never absent. Where words are many, sin is never absent. Proverbs 15, verse 30. Light in a messenger's eyes brings joy to the heart, and good news gives health to the bones. Light in a messenger's eyes brings joy to the heart, and good news gives health to the bones. Proverbs 16, verse 18. Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. Pride goes before destruction a haughty spirit before a fall. Proverbs 17, verse 1. Better a meal of vegetables with peace and quiet than a house full of feasting with strife. Better a meal of vegetables with peace and quiet than a house full of feasting with strife. Proverbs 17, verse 14. 
Starting a quarrel is like breaching a dam, so drop the matter before a dispute breaks out. Starting a quarrel is like breaching a dam, so drop the matter before a dispute breaks out. Proverbs 18, verse 8. The words of a gossip are like choice morsels. They go down to the inmost parts. The words of a gossip are like choice morsels. They go down to the inmost parts. Proverbs 22, verse 2. Rich and poor have this in common. The Lord is the maker of them all. Rich and poor have this in common. The Lord is the maker of them all. Proverbs 22, verse 6. Start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. Start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. Proverbs 25, verse 16. If you find honey, eat just enough, too much of it, and you will vomit. If you find honey, eat just enough, too much of it, and you will vomit. Proverbs 26, verse 14. As a door turns on its hinges, so a sluggard turns on his bed. As a door turns on its hinges, so a sluggard turns on his bed. Two more. Proverbs 27, verse 17. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. And Proverbs 27, verse 19. As water reflects the face, so one's life reflects the heart. As water reflects the face, so one's life will reflect the heart. You can come back to the present. So one or, one or two of those speak to you? All of them? <laughs> you might want just to, you've got a pen I think with you, note down which ones you felt God really spoke to you uh, about something. Could be for your whole family or about you. Just uh, put a little note by whichever one and you could look it up later. <laughs> 